How's it going everyone? Today we have a longer video, but I want to give you a review of the Nokia 2780. The Nokia 2780, as you see here in red, just came out about two weeks ago. And now we have it here and I've been testing it. But I also want to give you a walkthrough of KaiOS. I get a lot of questions with KaiOS and I'm going to give a longer walkthrough today of what is available and what is not. But first, let's get the review out of the way. And then as we go through the software, I will talk about KaiOS and what it offers. So a couple of good things. It does have USB-C. So that is very welcome, very encouraged. It does have volume rockers on the sides and a customizable key right here, which you can open uh, application or you can also set it up to call a contact if you triple click it. I believe, like an SOS button. It also remains uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So we have something to you know, be happy about, specifically since it has been lost in the past. It does have a camera, five megapixels, and uh, it does have a screen and the keypad. Uh, it's not the most amazing. Again, it's a cheaper device, it's $80, but it does get the job done. It is a uh, very serviceable it's not too plasticky uh not too rubbery either so it's kind of like somewhere in between this part is a little bit more plasticky and the keys themselves are a little bit more rubbery uh, and i'll showcase this uh, in just a second with all of the other capabilities that you can use with this device. Now, that is the hardware portion. For $80, you're getting some stylus device, depending on the color that you get. And you get to enjoy, of course, uh, a unlocked device. This is completely unlocked for the United States. I have tested with the three major carriers, so AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, and they all connect without any issues in my area. Now, maybe other areas you will get less coverage, but uh, here in the Denver area, it is excellent coverage and it has worked to make calls without any issues with the three major carriers. So that is very good. Now, besides the uh, reality of carrier compatibility and things of that nature, we do have the operating system right here. You have uh, calls, contacts, you have a store, you have YouTube. You cannot remove any of the applications that became uh, pre-installed so anything that came pre-installed you cannot remove it but you can remove the stuff that you installed from the store uh, maps right there you have pod lp i installed that application so i can remove it when i get to the options but otherwise you cannot remove anything else that's just the reality of kios 3.1 as of right now uh, and banana hackers may not be able to help you either which used to be a method to kind of remove all the stuff um, I believe they are also limited in what they have been doing with KaiOS 3.1. But check out their website and they may have a solution. I'm not going to go over that in this video. Uh, but again, you have the basics. Uh, you have a camera. You have internet. Uh, you have video, gallery, email, uh, clock, music, file manager, settings, FM radio, calendar, calculator, Kai weather, recorder, snake, news, notes to-do list games uh this is a couple of games again you cannot remove them and then you have a couple of applications that i installed like a weather app a music app and uh another uh, weather app i'm going to uninstall that one to show you the regular one that comes with uh, so i'll go through a little bit more of the walkthrough right here uh, for settings so you have a lot of helpful settings out here you start with network and connectivity airplane mode um, you have, this is mobile network, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, geolocation for GPS if you want accurate directions. Uh, you have the ability right there, SIM manager, calling, Vo LTE and Vo Wi-Fi. And with my testing, I can ascertain that it works for both. Right now, I don't have my SIM card in this one, but um, I can you know tell you that it works for both. And you have internet sharing. So you have hotspot on this device no issues whatsoever uh, you also have sound profiles that you can change for volume the display wallpaper you can search search engine right there uh, you can change it if you want to to DuckDuckGo or bing something whatever you prefer suggestions notices uh, on the screen if you want app notices if you want to get notifications from the different apps you can take them off date and time language which only has two as far as I could tell, is English or Spanish. That's it. English or Espanol. 
And then input methods, also English or Espanol, nothing else, because this is a North American variant. Hopefully they bring it to Europe and put a couple of extra languages in there. You also have the lid behavior. This is a question that I get all the time, but on KaiOS 3.1 devices, you have the ability to change the lid behavior. So if you flip to open to answer, you can put it on or off, depending on your preferences, off lid to home screen, meaning that when I close it, it will go directly to the home screen and not to the app that I was just in. This is just something that you can change. Privacy and security, you have a screen lock. You also have app permissions. You can remove them if you want. So uh, geolocation, for example, right there. Um, you also have do not track, which you can tell the websites that I want to be tracked, but we do not. So you can select that. You don't want to be tracked. Uh, it's a little bit better. Uh, KaiOS, uh, analytics, things of that nature. You can clean up your storage, USB storage, and micro SD card. I can confirm that this device does have a micro SD card, the 2780 for $80 instead of the 2760, which is essentially the same, but without the SD cards for $20. So if you need an SD card for music or for things of that nature, this is better. It does have a file manager for your internal memory, which is not a lot. Uh, I believe it's about four gigs for the internal memory. It's very little. Um, so you probably will need an SD card. You also have an FM radio. Uh, you have email. You have a clock where you can set up your alarms, things of that nature, timer, stopwatch. You also have music right there. Um, I don't recommend their uh, original music one. I would say download K Music from the store. It's a better client. You can take notes. Uh, you can also do a to-do list uh, right there. Uh, and I, again, I'm going through a little bit of a longer video today, so make sure to, to do that. Now, as you see right here, this is the one of the annoying things about KaiOS is that you get advertisements. So right here, you have an advertisement. You have to dismiss it, and then you can create a to-do list. Native applications do not have as many as advertisements, but some of them do, and it's very annoying. Uh, for example, messages and calls, you probably won't see it. Calendars, some of the basic functions, you probably won't see it. But for the third-party applications, you will. You also have Kai Weather right there. Probably we're going to see another ad maybe. No, nope, nothing so far. Perfect. Denver is 58 degrees. You have calendar right here where you can set up uh, whatever you need. So you can add a, an event or something like that. All day event, when it starts, when it ends, things of that nature. Whether it repeats, the phone calendar, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and whatever you want to save it probably into an SD card. That's the other capability. Um, let's keep going through uh, video capabilities. You can play back video. You can have a gallery for your pictures. I'm going to take a quick snap right here. See how legible it is. Uh, so let's just take a quick snap of this cap right here. Right there. Uh, I don't know why it needs my location. Right there, we took a picture and we can go preview it. And as you see right there, it's pretty legible. You can zoom in and you can see some detail. Of course, it's going to be a little bit blown right here just due to the nature of uh, my lightning situation. Uh, but it it does get the job done. I think it's serviceable. I'm looking at it right here and I can look at the details. It's not going to be amazing, but it does have a flash and it does have a five megapixel camera, which is uh, very welcome right there. Uh, then, of course, you have maps and you have podcasts. So I'm per personally a podcast listener. So, you know, you go there. PodLP is the best podcast app, in my opinion, and the one I use every time I'm using KaiOS. But you can, you know, search, select. You can go to options. You can go to volume, categories. You know, if you're looking for popular ones or trending podcasts, things of that nature. Uh, this is probably one of the best applications that you can get for that. Uh, you have Google. So if you want to search something, again, this is just essentially a link to the Google page is not necessarily a Google tracking app. And that's something that I want to say that the only thing that is Google oriented on this device and that they can harvest your data mostly is your location. Besides that, you're not giving them a lot of data with KaiOS devices. Yes, they're sponsored by Google, but they don't have a lot of Google trackers like on the Android devices where they control essentially the whole ecosystem. They do have some trackers and you have to be mindful of that. If you are looking for a super private device, then probably KaiOS is not for you. But if you're looking for something in the middle, 
something that you can manage and that you don't need to have all of these um, things, then I think it's fine. I think it's a very good device, honestly, very good transition uh, to the dumb phone world. You don't want something super limited, but you have kind of like somewhere in the middle. You also have maps. There is no turn by turn navigation, so it will not speak to you, but you are able to find directions. So for example, right here, if I say Starbucks, Starbucks, then it's going to search for Starbucks locations in my area. And it's going to say, hey, you have a couple ones right there. You can then click it and then you can get directions and it will tell you. Um, I'm just going to choose one on the map right here, just a random place. So right there, it's going to calculate it, drive, train or bus, uh, bicycle, whichever way is best for you. So we're going to drive, let's say, uh, and right there, it will tell you essentially as you move, it will move with you and it will switch essentially where it is. Now you can also do train or bus, which is my preferred method of transportation. And right there, you just take the zero and then you walk for a couple minutes, I guess, uh, right there. Um, and yeah, you can walk and you can go on the bicycle as well. So if you want to do a bike ride, boom, right there, it tells you how to do it and how you can get the most out of your trip. So it does have maps. It does have that ability. Uh, you can place as a worship, I guess. So you have nearby stations, gas stations, popular things you can show on the map. And that is the map application for that. You also have YouTube It's very limited. I don't think you're going to be watching uh, content on this a lot of the time, but you can watch it if you so want to. I don't think it's the best experience, but if you're trying to watch a video or get some information that somebody sent to you, you can get it. Now I will showcase to you how the T9 works on this device. Now uh, you have the ability to type in different modes. So this key right here, the pound key will switch the input. There is ABC, there is ABC without the capital, that is ABC all capitals, one, two, three, and then predictive text. So you have hello right there. My name is Jose. Oh, mistake right there. Lose. <laughs> but right there, we'd switch it to Jose. Uh, and I uh, have to switch it. I can type on T9. T9. Uh, let's put um, T and then we're going to select it. Oh. T and then we're going to put a nine right there by long pressing. But as you see right there, the typing experience is really decent. Uh, the keys are pretty responsive and they have predictive text. Now, if you want to do triple click, you just switch it to ABC and then you do the triple click method, which is something that uh, some people prefer. You know, it's just like it's faster for them. Uh, whichever one you prefer, you have the ability to do. Uh, but that is uh, the messaging and good news. KaiOS 3.0 has group text messages, uh, automatic group text messages. You can put it on or off and you don't have to do the trick and add some stupid um, whatever it was, the the subject line or something like that. You can just go and say, hey, you know, I want to text four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, six. And then you want to text one, two, four, five, six, four, eight, nine, nine, seven. And it will automatically convert it to a group text message, as you can read there. It says group text message created, group message will be sent via MMS automatically, and you don't have to touch it ever again um, to go to SMS or MMS. It will automatically detect what it is that you have to do. Um, there are other things uh, like uh, the KaiOS App Store uh, that you have right there. You have the ability to load um, a lot of the different things. Uh, and you will be able to use and install different applications that you may be, you know, kind of like interested in. There's some games here, some not a lot of social media. It honestly has uh, only um, Twitter, like a Twitter client. Uh, but besides that, I don't think it has a lot of like other things that you can use. Um, as you see right there, it was kind of glitching or still glitching. And that's one of the things with KaiOS. Sometimes it glitches, but it's not, you know, it's not a bad a bad thing, uh, especially with the 3.0 uh, or 3.1 devices. Uh, it's very, very improved. Um, you also have the news. You have uh, kind of like an audio recorder. That's another thing that I always get asked, like, does it have an audio recorder? Uh, yes, it does have an audio recorder that you can record right there. Um, 
And it has a calculator, a lot of the basics, a lot of the stuff that you want and need, but not a lot of the stuff that you don't want. So again, a very good device. I will give it definitely a seven out of 10. It's very kind of middle ground, not flashy, not amazing, but not terrible either. It's just, it just does get the job done. It does what it needs to do. It doesn't have all of the extras, no Spotify, no anything. If I didn't show it here, it's not here on KaiOS. And that's why it took a little bit longer today to kind of go over the features that are most requested on this device. It does have directions. It does have text. It does have calls. It does have both Wi-Fi and sharing and, and Bluetooth and also hotspot, but it doesn't have a lot of the other smart apps. If you want that, go get an Android device, either even uh, Android dumb phone like the cat s22 flip uh, just that's just the reality I'll be making another video where I'll be explaining kind of like how all of this works uh, with the tiers of different operating systems just because I get a lot of questions and I cannot answer them all and I try I try to communicate with all of you guys but sometimes it's just the same question 50 times and I'm just trying to be as efficient so trying to get, get you the answer as, as best as I can um, so I'll try to be making a video to it so I can explain all of that, but I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate your viewership. Thank you for sticking around and for always re sending your recommendations. I have another phone coming up that I'm actually super interested in. Uh, it's kind of like a very niche device uh, again from Japan, I believe. Uh, and I'll be reviewing that, uh, stay tuned to the channel. My three year review of the light phone is coming out soon and a lot of other things. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your viewship and your support. Check out all of my other content and I'll see you in the next video.